Okay, so this uh, are the learning objectives pagdating po dito sa topic natin. <clears throat> so, unang-una is to recognize the equations that represent a constant function. Okay, so papakitaan ko lang kayo ng equation. Dapat mabilis natin malalaman kung ito ba'y constant or hindi. Pangalawa, we should determine the domain and the range. Okay, and of course, kung meron tayong domain and range, kailangan meron din po tayong graph. Okay, so yung tatlong yan ang dapat natin matutunan on the very end of this uh, discussion. So, before we proceed on discussing the definition of the constant function, so can I ask a question if meron, ah, kung pumunta ba kayo ng mga malls and nakakakita kayo ng mga bargain na mga gamit or mga sales na item? Okay, so I believe naman siguro mga anak na uh, may nakikita kayong ganun kasi most of the time, uh, yung mga mall naman hindi naman nawawala niya ng mga bargain, hindi naman nawawala niya ng mga sales. Okay, so every time na nai-encounter natin yung mga anak, okay, nai-encounter na rin natin yung constant function. Okay, sir, paano siya naging connected on the constant function? Because, okay, yung relationship ng item, okay, doon sa prices na naka-indicate sa kanya, that is an example of a constant function. Okay, if we're going to base here on the picture na nakikita po ninyo sa screen, okay, this is a bargain bin na kung saan mga anak Lahat ng gamit na nasa loob ng box na iyan, okay, lahat po yan is just for $3.99. <coughs> Ibig sabihin yan, kahit anong libro yung kuhain natin dyan, still the price is just $3.99. Ganun din kapag pumupunta tayo ng mga uh, thrift market or ng mga ukay-ukay or tiyanggian. Okay, di ba? Uh, parang meron dong per section yun sila na kung saan, for, let's say this is section A, so ito worth 150 lang lahat ng uh, ng gamit dyan. Okay, on the other stall, lahat naman to for buy one, take one, 180. So may mga indicated na price na kung saan, once na nandun siya sa class na yon or cluster na yon okay, yung price niya hindi magbabago kahit ano yung kuwain mo doon. Okay, ganun din kapag nagsisale, di ba? Pag nagsisale yung mga molders and specific item lang na sinisale nila, pero iba-iba po yan, that's say iba-iba ng color, okay, meron tayong mga ma-encounter na buy one, take one. So, yung mga yun mga anak, yung mga part na yun, okay, uh, hindi lang natin, uh, parang nariri, para hindi lang natin alam na, ay, eto na pala uh, yung mga example on the real-life situation ng constant function. Okay? So, ano nga ba yung constant function na tinatawag po natin? Okay? So, mathematically speaking, mga anak, uh, a constant function, this is a function that has the same output value no matter what your input is. Okay? So, kahit ano daw yung uh, gamitin natin na value ni x, okay, or kahit ano yung domain natin, Okay, and then is a substitute natin dun sa pinaka function or on the equation, hindi daw po magbabago yung output natin. Or still the same pa din yung output natin. Okay? And then because of this mga anak, because of that na hindi nagbabago yung output natin. Okay, a constant function has the form of y is equal to b. Okay? At tong letter B po na ito, ayan po yung tinatawag natin na constant. Okay? Na kung saan, yung constant po is a single value that does not change. So, hindi po siya magbabago at all. For example, we have y is equal to 7 and then y is equal to 1049. Okay? As you can see, Okay, yung naka-red, yung 7, saka 1,049, yan po yung constant na tinatawag natin. Di ba kapag uh, sa mathematical equation or on math way, <clears throat> kapag 
number lang yung makikita natin, or if we're going to identify yung mga parts ng pinaka-equation natin, okay, meron tayong may encounter na coefficient, meron tayong tinatawag na variable, and then meron din tayong tinatawag na constant. So, itong constant na ito, kailangan po number lang po siya. Just like what you see here on my example. Wala po kayong makikita na, uh, na variable okay, dito sa side po na ito ng equation, kundi pure lang po na number. And that makes this equation a constant function. Okay? So, to simplify this even further, mga anak, uh, let's try to consider how to tell, okay, the difference between a constant function, okay, and a function that is not a constant function, okay? So, yung nakikita po natin na horizontal line, okay, balik ko lang, atong horizontal line na ito, uh, that is the indication once po na magagraph na po tayo na, ay, Ayan, that is a constant function. Okay? So, mapapansin natin, we can form a straight line. Paano, sir, kapag yung straight line natin is naka-diagonal? Is this still a, uh, a constant function? Okay, now, you're going to ask yourself, mga anak, since alam naman na natin yung definition kanina ni constant function. Is it possible to get different outputs by using different inputs? Okay, ibig sabihin na ito mga anak, uh, makakakuha ba daw tayo ng iba-ibang uh, resulta or iba-ibang value ni y kapag gumamit tayo ng iba-ibang value ni x? Now, kung ang sagot po ninyo is yes, okay, meaning that is not a constant function. Kasi nga, based on the definition, the output is just the same. Hindi po siya magbabago. Okay? If it is only possible to get the same output no matter what you put in, then yun po yung tinatawag natin na constant function. Just remember, uh, mga anak, na uh, ang output natin hindi magbabago, siya lang lagi yung magiging output kahit anong value pa ang ilagay natin. Okay? Okay. For example, so we have uh, a function or an equation which is y is equal to x plus 4. Okay? So don't mind first yung pinaka-graph natin. So focus tayo muna dito. Okay? So for example, dito sabi ko sa sarili ko, parang may doubt nest. Kasi uh, parang sabi doon sa constant, kailangan number lang yung makikita on the other side of the equation. Pero dito sa example ko na ito, okay, meron tayong variable na ma-encounter. Okay, so let's try if it uh, if it is a constant or not. Okay? So if I use value uh, or if I used 1 as the value of x and I substitute it on the equation, so, magkakaroon tayo ng y is equal to 1 plus 4. Okay, and once we simplify it, okay, the answer will be 5. So, kapag ang value ng x is to 1, 5 yung magiging value po ng y natin. And then, I will be trying another value ni x. Just to make sure kung ano po yung magiging itsura ng graph. Kasi 1 point is not enough to see the graph po ng isang equation. So, let's try another ordered pairs or another value ng x. Okay, if I used x is equal to 3 and then I'm going to substitute it on the given, given equation, we have y is equal to 3 plus 4. And then 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So, if I used x, uh, 3 as x and then 7 siya, so nandito siya. So, once po na kinunek ko yung dalawang coordinates na yon or yung dalawang ordered pairs na yon, I will be forming a straight line, but it's diagonal. Okay? And that is not the definition or that is not how we're going to graph a constant. So, dapat po, ang graph lang po ng constant is horizontal line. <clears throat> Wala na pong ibang uh, graph na makikita po dapat once na constant siya, kundi horizontal 
lang po. Okay? Now, on this example, mga anak, uh, y is equal to 7 is the equation itself. Okay? Now, kapag green up ko yan, or if I'm going to use, okay, different value ni x, okay, since dito sa kabilang side ni equation, wala naman akong papalitan na value ni x kasi wala akong makikitang uh, variable na x. So, still the same. 7 pa din yung kalalabasan niya. So, kahit negative numbers yung gamitin ko, kahit positive, kahit zero yung gamitin ko, the output or the value of y is just the same, which is 7. Kaya ganyan po yung magiging graph po natin. Okay, so lagi lang natin isipin yun ha. Constant function, okay, horizontal line lang yung pinaka-graph. Okay, so yan nga yung sinasabi ko kanina na no matter what our x value or our input, y is always 7 pa rin siya. Okay, so ganun yung pag-a-identify natin mga anak ng equation, okay, and then ng graph. Okay, so pag pinakitaan ko kayo ng graph, you will be able to uh, tell me if it is a constant or not kasi iisa lang yung drawing ng graph natin or iisa lang yung sketch ng graph natin which is horizontal line. Pagating naman sa equation, okay, madali lang natin siya makikita kasi po uh, constant lang or number lang yung makikita natin sa kabilang side ni function. Okay? Now, let's talk about on how we're going to get uh, the domain and then the range of the constant function. Okay? Since you already encountered naman na yung graphing natin. Okay? So, I have here the function f of x is equal to negative 4. Okay? So, sabi ko nga kanina sa inyo, uh, kahit anong ilagay natin na value ni x, hindi siya magbabago ng output. So, we can use negative numbers, we can use the origin, which is 0, and then we can use the positive numbers. Okay, pero ang pinaka magiging value lang po ni y is yung constant na makikita natin dito sa pinaka equation, which is negative 4. Hanapin nyo si negative 4 sa y-axis, and then ang gagawin na lang natin is to draw a horizontal line. Okay? And this horizontal line na makikita nyo po sa graph ko, okay, both end of it has an arrow. Okay? If the line, okay, this line or this graph has an arrow, it means that this is continuous. Ibig sabihin po, wala pong hangganan yan, infinite po yung magiging graph natin dyan. Okay? Ngayon, para ma-identify natin yung domain and range, Okay, for the domain, we're going to look on the x-axis. And then for the y, or for the range, we're going to look for the y-axis. Okay, so ito po yung magiging domain and range po natin. Pagdating po kay constant function, mga anak. Okay, ito po lagi yung magiging domain natin. The domain is all real numbers. Or x such that x is an element of any real number. Okay? So, ganun po siya. And then, for the range, okay, dito sa constant sa range, dun nang po tayo magkakaroon ng specific value ng range. Since constant lang po yung, or ito lang po yung makikita natin for the y-axis. Wala na pong iba. Okay? Ngayon, kung ano po yung constant na makikita natin, dito sa pinaka-equation, siya na po yung magiging hangganan ng range po natin. So, range is y such that y is equal to negative 4. Okay? etong naka-vertical line na ito, ang basa natin dyan mga anak is such that. Okay, etong letter E, uh, this is an element. And then, itong capital, parang capital R, pero literally, that's not a capital R. Okay, we called it or we will be reading it as uh, any real number. Okay, so that's how we're going to read itong domain and range po natin. 